really hard to not ask about Gandhi being what a landmark movie sure. it was. And sure. really, it was, I think, quite the education for many people who had only heard the name Gandhi but knew nothing about him. And I know you don't oh. get your education from the cinema, but it did cue a lot of us like this stuff really happened. Oh, absolutely. And the and the, the, the massacre in the garden um, is mm. something which we reference in, in, in our film. Um, these are moments that go down in people's consciousness. Um, it, 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 it's so hard, isn't it? You say that we don't learn our history from movies, but actually we do. We do, unfortunately. But I yeah. think what I think we should do is take our cue from movies to do the real research. Sure. When you say the massacre, are you talking about, is that the Edward Fox moment? Yes, exactly. Oh you know, props to Edward Fox for being an absolute jobber because he comes into Gandhi. Obviously, he wants to work, and it's a favor for Richard Attenborough, and I think they yeah, had just yeah. come off a bridge too far together. But he comes into the movie for three and a half minutes to be a supreme racist motherfucker oh. and then just exits the movie. England is so powerful. Its army and its navy, all its modern weapons. But when a great power like that strikes defenseless people, it shows its brutality, its own weakness, especially when those people do not strike back. But if we riot, if we fight back, we become the vandals and they become the law. If we bear their blows, they are the vandals. God and his law are on earth. have the courage to take their anger. Have the major. Hello. Should we issue a warning, sir? They've had their warning. No meeting.
correct that you ordered your troops to fire at the thickest part of the crowd? That is so. One thousand five hundred and sixteen casualties with one thousand six hundred and fifty bullets. My intention was to inflict a lesson that would have an impact throughout all India. The general, had you been able to take in the armored car, would you have opened fire with the machine gun? I think probably, yes. General, did you realize there were children and women in the crowd? I did. But that was irrelevant to the point you were making. That is correct. <clears throat> Could I ask you what provision you made for the wounded? I was ready to help any who applied. General, how does a child shot with a 303 Lee Enfield apply for help? Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Rated R.